All right, listen to this. Some 20,000 Americans donate their bodies to science each year, but you may not know what that entails and who might be on the receiving end. Yeah, really fascinating. A new CBS Reports documentary called Body Brokers explores the realities of these so-called tissue banks. The for-profit market remains largely unregulated, and that creates opportunities for bad actors to trick families into handing over their loved ones' remains. CBS Reports executive producer and CBS News correspondent Adam Yamaguchi joins us now on set in person. A thrill for me to see you for the first time. I don't know how that's possible. I, um, I agree, totally. A big, nice welcome, to join you guys. a big welcome to you. So just break it down for us how body donation is different from what we're all familiar with, uh, which is organ donation. Right. So what's the difference? So two very, very different things. So organ donation, as it sounds, is for transplants. So we're talking about livers, kidneys, hearts, and lungs. That follows a certain pathway. But when someone says that I want to donate my body to science, right. that opens up a whole different pathway uh, into this for-profit business. And it's a highly unregulated business. So what happens is your body is sent to a tissue bank. That tissue bank can then sell that body to a medical institution, to a university. Sometimes uh, the bodies can be routed to, let's say, metal workshops. And um, that, that sort of trajectory is, is, again, completely separated and independent of the highly regulated mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. organ donation right. pipeline. And so we had the opportunity to visit one tissue bank. They let us in the doors, which was pretty wild. So body comes in. I am standing in the lab in front of a body splayed out on a table. Oh my goodness. And the lab had an order for a knee. So technician comes in, cuts off the knee, wraps it up in, in paper and plastic, slaps a label on it, and prepares it for shipment. There's a whole freezer full of these that are then sent from this, from this tissue bank off to any number of organizations that they have relationships with. And some of these are and some of these are valuable, right? That medical schools rely on these cadavers in order to train new doctors. I'd always thought about donating my body to science, not wow. realizing the distinction between organs and the other parts of your body. Right. But but since we do want to promote that type uh, or we want to con that type of uh, scientific di uh, discovery to continue, what laws are in place to try and better govern right. how this industry operates? So here's a surprising thing. There's virtually no law. There are no federal laws that mandate how this industry is to, is to perform itself. And so the only thing that really exists is consent. Uh, informed consent is necessary. So before a tissue bank can take custody of a body, it's got to it's got to have a consent form signed, and these consent forms typically will say that the body can be used for medical or for research and education purposes. Mm -hmm. But that's vague language. That can mm -hmm. mean any number of things, any number of people. So this this means that the body could, in some instances, end up in a museum, which some will argue has educational value, although the donor probably would not expect that to be to happen. Uh, there was not too long ago an incident, in, or uh, an event rather, in which the paying public could buy tickets to watch a live dissection in person. Again, whew, there could be some educational purpose there, but probably not what the user had in mind. Wow, it's fascinating. We're seeing some of the footage um, that you were able to obtain in this documentary. It's great to have you here to discuss all of this. Adam Yamaguchi, thank you so much Thanks, for being with us here today. And we want to encourage everyone to watch the new CBS Reports doc, Body Brokers. It runs tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Eastern on the CBS News app and Paramount+.